everybody! So today we're doing things a little bit differently, as I said, and how that will be is all of the items are buy it now, and I will show you the items, explain all about them, give you all the details, and then I will give you the amount and the item number. And you guys just put the item number in the chat for if you want to purchase that item. If you have not registered with me before, then I ask that you would please um, fill out the form that is in the description below. And I may try to also put it into the chat <laughs> if I can figure that out and pin it to the top so that you guys can have that easily. Um, we are trying this out because I am having, um, I had surgery last Wednesday and <laughs> obviously can't you tell? No. Uh, I will update you though how uh, it went and how my recovery is going and we were, are going to go ahead and get started. I am going to be shipping from Wisconsin just like normal. My daughter um, and son are going to be helping me with that, so that'll be fun. <laughs> and I uh, hope you guys stick around and see all of the fun things that I have for you. So this is my very first item today. This is Webster's Encyclopedia of Dictionaries, New American Edition. And there's this neat uh, mark there. That's really cool. I'm going to show you the uh, spine here. The cover is um, a little torn there, so just be aware of that. It is large type. Um, it is a little dirty on the back, um, but I think that could possibly be wiped down. But my idea for this one is to use for junk journaling, um, to cut out pictures and different things. I thought this cover, the inside um, pages here were really neat. It's the state flags and flowers. And I believe there are more on the uh, back side and there is this neat section here that talks all about um, the spacious firmament and all different things about space the Sun's family Earth's natural satellite the Apollo plan Apollo plan sorry men in space Apollo landing all this neat information okay and that's not even part of the dictionary itself <laughs> so here it's five complete dictionaries in one there's Webster's dictionary crossword puzzle dictionary Bible dictionary book of familiar quotations scientific terms synonyms antonyms and homonyms Music dictionary, rhyming dictionary, legal dictionary, medical dictionary, outline of U.S. history, and atlas and gazetteer. <laughs> and the copyright, the latest one, so there's a lot, the latest one is 1978 by Ottenheimer Publishing. And there is Webster's Dictionary and I'm just gonna kind of flip through you can see just mostly different words there and then let's see if I can go and here are synonyms and antonyms and homonyms and then this um, says X word dictionary so these are just really cool for, I think, for using for um, junk journaling. This is the Bible Dictionary, Rhyming Dictionary, 
music dictionary. That would be my jam. <laughs> and familiar quotes. So if you're looking for a quote, these would be good, very, very good. So like appetite. Now good digestion, weight on appetite and health on both. Applause is the spur of noble minds, the end of and aim of weak ones. Colton. So, different ones. Beautiful. The beautiful are never desolate, but someone always loves them. doth the little busy bee improve each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower <laughs> that's neat I think that one's really cool all those different quotes in there and then this one is a legal dictionary and science terms And then this one is U.S. History. So James Madison, president in 1809 and the War of 1812. It just gives a little synopsis about different things that happened in our U.S. History. So that's cool. And then the Gazette Atlas. So it tells where different things are, different places. All right. And then here are some maps on the back. And some more of the flowers. I mean, the flags and the flowers. <laughs> All right, so this one is $5, and it is number 147. $5, number 147. The next item is this Easter Ideals, and there is remnant of the sticker there. I didn't want to ruin the... Um, cover by taking that off. Stop. <laughs> okay, so this is the second item. I there is remnant of the sticker. I didn't want to ruin the cover by taking trying to take that off. I'll show you the spine here. It's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit there. Um, the ideals ca catalogs or books are really, really, really awesome for junk journaling because they have all of these neat um, pictures and little, um, little, like some are uh, poems. <laughs> or a little write-up, so showy ladies slipper, a member of the orchid family, this large spectacular plant often reaches a height of three feet and inhabits swamps and bogs from eastern Canada, west to North Dakota, and as far south as North Carolina and Missouri. It is the state flower of Minnesota. Neat little things. Oh, there's a rabbit. So all different kinds of things in here, spring and Easter related. And here's how to decoupage eggs for Easter. Very, very neat book here. The Easter story at Easter time. Could we forget? That is a beautiful picture there. So colorful. And this is copyright is March. 
that is 1973 and this one is five dollars number 145 five dollars number 145 the next one here is really neat take my card out of there it is a newspaper and yes there are some condition issues and some tearing on different things um, it has been folded so just keep all of those things in mind this one is the Chicago Daily Drover's Journal member of the Corn Belt Farm Dailies and it is Monday, June 2nd, 1952. And this says, just waiting to be mastered. The art of meat cookery, June Bride. <laughs> and she's like, huh? <sighs> First Monday hog price dip in nine weeks. West Berliners beat communist in new outbreak. So some really interesting things in here. And this was priced at $7.50 per year. Spring lambs decline, older stock higher. And there's, I'm not gonna open all of it up, but I'll just kind of show you a little bit here and there. Farm news there. <laughs> and news and views in purebred industry. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try and get that there. So let's see. Oh, there's a pretty lady right there. The household styles day or date dress just really neat and I thought it would be cool for junk journaling or whatever you want you can look at and this one is four dollars number 112 four dollars number 112 for the 1952 newspaper. And here we have another newspaper. It is from the same, uh, is from the same newspaper. It is Chicago Daily Drover's Journal. And it is Tuesday, November 7th, 1950. So this one is a little bit older. Again, there are some condition issues, probably a little mouse um, and took some of it right there. <laughs> um, it has been folded and the edges are frayed. And again, this spot here is also, um, has also been torn. Um, and it talks about hogs advance as run dips slightly lamb strong at November record of $30. Weather postpones attempts to reach plain down in Alps. Ooh, that was in France. Hmm, that's interesting. Little change in the steer market. Heavy early vote reported. Re record turnout expected. That's good. Troops in Korean War volunteers, Red China asserts. Allied troops smash forward some two and a half miles. So this was during the war, some war time. And it says country solitude, rural sunsets, autumn color, and fresh air. <sighs> Show you. I'm going to try and open this. Let's see. Oh, looks like 
free book on arthritis and rheumatism. Use Drover's service. Young man. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Let's see if we can see any. Oh, there's a household style there. Kind of interesting. And there's um, something up here. I'm going to try. It's hard to do this. I don't want it to. Okay, we're going on a little ride here. Well, maybe. It's hard to show you. I'm going to try and lift the camera up a little. But this picture here is says Sweden's new king and queen. So that's kind of neat there. Hopefully I get that camera back in the right position. <laughs> All right. Oh, and here is a, I'm assuming it's a 1950 Chevrolet. I don't know what kind. Oh, it says Fleetline Deluxe Two Door Sedan. That's really cool. All right. So this one is. Hold it back up here. From 1950, it is four dollars, number 119. Four dollars, number 119. This is a lithograph. I have found more information about it. It is by Jean Bukak. Bukak. It, the J here is written into the B, so that's why I had a hard time figuring out who this was. And um, she did, I believe it's a she, it might have been a he, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure. She did several um, of these juveniles. And um, this is a print. But it does have a slight texture to it. It is really, really cute. This little boy praying. And he's got his bunny praying too and his doggy is sleeping he's already in his pajamas so cute um, this frame here I wanted to show you there is a little bit of an issue there but if you put it inside of another frame it would be great and I believe yes you can take it out by just sliding it out of there if you want. And this one is six dollars number 142. This would be precious in a little um, nursery. Six dollars number 142. Okay all you Elvis lovers here. I have two books. These go together. It is Elvis 56 in the beginning, an intimate eyewitness photo journal by Alfred Wertheimer. And then this one is 25 years the king. Oh, sorry. And it's from 1968 to 1973. A special tribute edition on the fourth anniversary of Elvis's death and you can see that there is some scratching here on that edge so it doesn't go all the way through but it goes through to several pages okay so this one um, it is priced in pounds so I'm assuming it was overseas in the UK, maybe. 
And the copyright on this is 1981. You can see that there. And there's several pictures of Elvis. Part one, the final Hollywood movies. Change of habit. Some of his iconic um, pictures there. Some I haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> but she loved that picture. <laughs> Here's his of his with his family. So really neat, interesting pictures and everything, especially if you really like Elvis. And this one is let's go look at it. forward Elvis 56 the beginning in the beginning it's by Collier books and this copyright is 1979 Lots of photographs and various things about Elvis. Fan girls. <laughs> so, if you want these books, both of them together, they are eight dollars number one forty nine. Eight dollars number one forty nine. So now we're going to do some ephemera lots that are um, not just books. And this lovely lady here is says it's all right to call me honey because I'll be your chocolate marshmallow bunny <laughs> and just got a little bend in her cheek there and also her neck is a little needs a little support um, but she is let me see if I can hold it up here Don't know if it's gonna focus. Nope. So it does say on there the ingredients, and then it says the net candy weight, and it was made by E. Rosen Company. Pantucket, Rhode Island, Litho in the USA. I'm going to show you the back. And this lovely lady. And this is a 3x5 card, so you can see the size that it is. It is $7, number 137. $7, number 137. This next set of Valentines, you're going to get two Valentines, and I have two of the exact same ones. So this can go to two different people. The first two to comment the number will get these, will each get a set. And I'm going to show them to you a little bit more up close.
close that says, Come on, honey, sweep me off my feet. And there is the back of that one. And then this one says, Wouldn't you like to be mine? It's a little Dutch girl. She's so cute. And there's the back of that one. And I will show you the backs of those as, as well. And these are $5 for two, $5 for those two, number 101. So the first two people to put in number 101 will each get a set of two of the Valentines. All right, so for my next set is a set of two Valentines plus some little extra um, hearts that they are not stickers, but you can glue them on. Say you want to embellish one of these a little bit more, you can do that. And I will show you the backs as well. So there's that one. That one is very pretty. So you could put some of the hearts on here if you would like to make them more embellished. This one is not cut out yet. And this one says, I jump at the chance. Oh, I jump at the chance to be your Valentine. And there's the back of that one. And this set is five dollars, number one thirty-five. Five dollars, number one thirty-five. Here is the next set. It is two heart valentines. This one says, "You're sweet Valentine," and it has a butterfly on it. Very pretty. Here is the back of that one as well. And then this one has been glued on there already. You can see that. And it has that heart on the back. And then there's some little cutouts. And then these two need to be cut out. They haven't been yet. And all of that together is five dollars number 105 five dollars number 105 all right so this set is a set of three Valentines with a couple of little heart cutouts this one says it's magic I like a potion of your love it's magic. I'd like a potion of your love. <laughs> so cute. And there is the back. And then this one, I can get it up. This one has, I'm pushing for you, my Valentine. And there's the back of that one. Very cute. This one, I think this one is my favorite. It says, you have stolen my heart. <laughs> my Valentine. It's so cute. And there's the back of that one. And these are $8 for the set of three. Number 117. $8 number 117. All right, so this one is a set of three Valentines, and these are so cute. So this one on here, it says to paste it on the giraffe Valentine. Okay, so that's totally up to you, so I included it. And it says, I'm reaching for your heart. Be mine. Very, very cute. And the silvery part on all of these is raised, like it's embossed. And here is the back. And then the 
funny one driving the car says, ride with me, Valentine. Very adorable. And then there's a little butterfly. And this says, ahoy, be mine. <laughs> Very cute. And it even has a little hat for the ducky. All right, and that set is eight dollars number 108 eight dollars number 108 all right so this is my next item it is this walt disney's people and places a deluxe golden book Lapland, Scotland, Switzerland, the Danube, Portugal, Sardinia, Morocco, the Amazon, Thailand, Samoa, Japan, the Navajos. Look at that inside. That is really cool. I will show you this corner here has uh, some issues there. Um, there's some bumps and bruises on the corners and edges on some of the there's somewhere so just just keep that in mind as you are purchasing today and this is I just love this inside cover so pretty Walt Disney's people and places by Jane Werner Watson and the staff of the Walt Disney Studio Golden Press, New York, based on Walt Disney motion picture series, People and Places. And there's all kinds of pictures. And the copyright here is 1959. There's Walt Disney himself. <laughs> Lapland. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one. I'll just kind of scroll through here a little. Switzerland. The, the Danube. I love that song, The Blue Danube. It's so pretty. Uh, Portugal. Grapes there. Morocco. The Amazon. The Navajos. All these different places. Very nice. And there's the inside cover. And there's the back. And this is eight dollars number one thirty-eight. A deluxe golden book. <laughs> eight dollars number one thirty-eight. Next one I have is this really neat yearbook that I found. It is from 1924 and it is called the Mac. It is embossed there, if you can see that. Um, it does have some sort of something on there, some sort of residue, I'm not sure. There's some wear also on the top and the bottom corners and edges. Here's the back. Again, some residue. I did not try wiping this down. Um, I may do that just to see if I can, you know, get some of that off a little bit for you, but not, not too vigorously. I don't want to ruin it, obviously. So here's the inside. This is the Mac, the annual publication of the senior class of Hanaga. Han. 
Hananega, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Hananega <laughs> Community High School, Rockton, Illinois, 1924. Dedication, the contents. And there's the Community High School and the school song. The auditorium, the assembly, faculty, and those are the faculty. And then it says our haunts, where we came from. <laughs> Neat places. And then it has all the various classes. All these people. Those two must have been twins, Florence and Francis. Hmm. Look at her hair. Oh my goodness. These are some really, really neat um, pictures here. And I'm kind of just skipping through. And then some activities. Girls Glee Club, Athletics, the H Club, Football, Basketball, Track, um, Collage of Pictures. <laughs> Here is some of the um, advertisements. Always buy it at Chester's. A good place to stop and a good place to trade. Huh. Women's wear of flattering smartness. Worth Worthams? Worthams. Huh. Interesting. Radio. And then all of the signatures. So these are really, really cool. All right. So this one is $7, number 107, for the Mac yearbook. $7, number 107. So a fun fact about the yearbook, I was actually on my yearbook. I was the head, I don't know what you would call it, the editor, editor in chief? I don't know. I was the person in charge of our yearbook team in of my senior year of high school, so that was fun. All right, so this is Seasons in a Country Kitchen Cookbook. Now this one is not old, it has the cover of, um, on it. It is from 1905. No. <laughs> it is from 2005, not 1905. Sorry. To mother and grandmother who not only taught me to love food and preparation, but to deeply appreciate seasons in a country kitchen. I'm going to show you this part. This is also pretty. There. And this was priced originally at $24.95. So it goes through the various seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Moving day, farm style. It gives a little, um, anecdote stories and then country meatloaf scalloped potatoes with ham and cheese calico salad grandma's cherry cake ooh yummy powdered sugar frosting chocolate chip date cake horseradish <laughs> something to cry about 
Hmm. Lemon meringue pie. Ooh, baby. Yummy, yummy. Um, so what I thought I would do with some of these, um, well, this one isn't that much older, but some of the older, um, cookbooks, I thought I might put out a challenge of you pick one and, um, post a picture on Instagram or something. And this is the author here, Darlene. Kronschnabel. <laughs> okay. Probably butchered that name. Anyway, I thought I might do a challenge um, and pick out a new recipe and have you guys, you know, do a hashtag or something. I thought it might, might be fun. You let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> So this one is six dollars and it is number 22 122 sorry six dollars number 122 very nice book there next I have this cookbook it is the primal blueprint cookbook this is also newer it's primal paleo low carb grain free dairy free gluten free so is it just water? <laughs> just kidding. Mark Sisson with Jennifer Meyer. And I always like to look at the front. No, just, just plain. <laughs> All right. And this one is 2010. Copyright is 2010. And there's an intro, and then there's the meat recipes, awful recipes, <laughs> foul recipes, seafood recipes, vegetable recipes, egg recipes, primal substitute recipes, marinade sauces and dressings, desserts, and beverages. Oh, and there's somebody's writing something in there. Stuck in the primal pantry, the primal kitchen. Meat, grilled steak. Ooh wee, there you go. Primal pot roast. Mm-mm, that looks really good. Grandma's barbecue pork. Bacon, bacon. <laughs> Chopped liver. That's funny. What am I? Chopped liver? Ooh, Brussels sprouts with brown butter and hazelnuts. Hmm. Cream of broccoli soup. Roasted cauliflower with lemon mustard seed dressing. Mm, creamed kale. Eggs Benedict. Egg muffins. Zucchini egg bake. All different kinds of different things and sauces and there is the there are the authors over 100 delicious recipes for all meal times and snacks including delicious substitutes for many of your grain based favorites convenient design and easy to follow instructions with brilliant photos. All right. So this one is $5, number 128. $5, number 128. These types of um, cookbooks are my favorite because they are from all different kinds of just moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas aunts, uncles, you know, like, I don't know. I just really like that kind of cookbook. Um, this is Chester Stepping Stones, 1982. So beef chart. Ooh, that one's coming out. Might need reinforced there. 
clam chart all about biscuits and different things and I actually was there's and there's always cheese balls so there's cheese ball cheese ball cheese ball <laughs> and then vegetable dip and punch and tea Ooh, I like the breads angel biscuits blueberry muffins gooey sandwiches or sloppy sandwiches Mm -mm. Johnny Cakes, Oatmeal Raisin Muffins, Plain Donuts, Refrigerator Rolls, My Song. Hmm. Strawberry Bread. Ooh, I might have to try that one. I might have to try that one. Cakes and Frostings, Monkey Cake, Pineapple Cake. Ooh, beef and noodle casserole. Green bean casserole. Peanut butter fudge. Drop cookies, forgotten cookie. Toasties, oh my goodness. These are just so yummy. And um, when we did our cookbook at our school, we, uh, each of the kids or each, each grade, um, had, you know, got to draw various things for the, um, for the different, you know, dividers like miscellaneous or, um, the main dishes, you know, like this, <laughs> the illustration. Yeah. And then we had a contest and we picked one from each grade. And there was, um, I think there was 12, div there must have been 12 divisions in ours, or 13 uh, for us to pick. Cause we picked kindergarten, first grade, second grade, etc. cetera. Um, and I got chosen for the miscellaneous category in on my, at our cookbook. And it was not necessarily nutritious. And I did a picture of um, a little girl making a mud pie, <laughs> which was fun. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll have to show you that sometime. So this one is six dollars number 136. Six dollars number 136. And the next item here is White Mountain Cooks, um, Eager Ward Relief Society, 1972. It says incomplete, but I didn't see anywhere that it was incomplete. But I don't know. <clears throat> we may live without poetry, music, and art. We may live without conscience and live without heart. <clears throat> we may live without friends. We may live without books. But civilized men cannot live without cooks. <laughs> I thought that was fun. And the re another reason I really like these is because of this kind of um, recipes. So like there's happiness cake. One cup of good thoughts, one cup of good deeds, one cup of consideration, one cup of sacrifice, two, oh, two cups of sacrifice, two cups of well-beaten faults, three cups of forgiveness. Mix thoroughly, add tears of joy, sorrow, and sympathy. Flavor with love and kindly service. Hold in four cups, fold in four cups of prayer and faith. Blend well, fold into daily life. Bake well with warmth of human kindness and serve with a smile at any time. It will satisfy the hunger of starved souls. That's neat. Leftover disguises. <laughs> so I wanted to show you these. There's the breads. <laughs> Butterflake rolls. Parker House rolls. Hot buns. Hot rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Ooh, yum yum. Cream puffs. Christmas bread. Pumpkin bread. Oh my goodness. Sopapillas. Graham gems? They're muffins. Huh. 
cornbread, whole wheat bread, biscuit dumplings, raised donuts, luscious donuts, cherry tort, huh, and there's casseroles. This one just has some really neat, um, the illustrations are really neat, these drawings. There's Spanish. <laughs> Cakes and frostings. Dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I think she's got more in her mouth than in her thing. Dips and Melanius lotion, cheese, soaps, canning. So there's cheese and then relish and sauce. But then there's also granulated soap, soap, hand cream, hand lotion, and then guacamole dip. <laughs> Be careful not to confuse these. Ooh, hamburger boats. Ha, huh, that sounds interesting. And good citizenship. <laughs> These are really neat. All right. So this one is $8. I just love it so much. Number 148. $8, number 148. This is my last cookbook of this sale. It is the Dieter's Gourmet Cookbook by Francine Prince. Now for the first time, delicious low fat, low cholesterol cooking and baking recipes using no sugar or salt. Ooh, that's a tall order. Um, it did kind of get bent here on the edge. So just be aware of that. Um, so, fish stock, veal stock, honeyed carrots, broccoli magic, ooh, interesting. Chinese restaurant spiced rice, orange pineapple rice. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I can't say that word. <laughs> Jellied tile fish, okay, interesting. Broiled codfish cakes. Chicken and turkey. Orange pineapple chicken. Ooh, what was that? Johnny Appleseed chicken. Swiss steak. Baked herb veal chops, roast fresh ham, Swedish meatballs, salads, eggless mayonnaise, make your own granola, crude crudities. Five minute spice cake, apple coffee cake. Oh, some of these sound really good. I'm just wondering how they make them without sugar. So this one, I didn't look at the, it is reprinted in 1980. It is $5 number 125, $5 number 125. So I had a request from one of my viewers to sing this song, and I don't usually take requests too much, but if you do have a song um, that you would like me to try, I can uh, try and see if I can <laughs> figure it out and fit it in. So this one I really like, um, it's a fun song to sing, so I'm going to try and sing it for you today. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that 
that I heard of once in a lullaby somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me, where troubles melt like lemon drops and way above the chimney tops, that's where you'll find me. Somewhere Birds fly over the rainbow, why then, why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the I hope you really enjoyed this sale and I hope you enjoyed my song for you and I hope to see you next week. <laughs> That's a lot of hope, isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait and um, if it is another premiere live sale, just um, hang out with me and I will be in the chat again with you. Um, if I am filling up to it and doing better, then I will have another um, I will have a real live sale, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sure it does. So, join me again next time, Mondays at 4 o'clock, and uh, that's 4 o'clock central. Love, love, love! <laughs>